Hogan now and Tim Reeves. So with Tim Reeves, he's it's like spinning four. up, isn't he? But yeah, yeah, it's close on the road here. Yeah, close on the road. That's the number three outfit, which set up 20 seconds oh. in front of the number five outfit. Conrad having a look. He's yeah. trying to get his way through there, but again, with an outfit, not like a solo, you need more room. Conrad having, having another look here. Is he going to get it this time? He's got the inside line. Gonna he's going to squeeze his way through there, but oh, it's a tricky move. So the outfit in front now with the red cross, and he's now. 20 seconds and a little bit in front of the number three outfit, and that's for that third play. They're in a real dice now for this second place. Dave Monley and Pat France lead it, and it's between Harrison and Holden for that vital second place. That is the cruelty of the Isle of Man TT races. It's such a strain on man and machine, but they're out. So the, the leader now, this is going to be close between Holden and Harrison. So Holden and Wickham, yeah, yeah, they're on him. yeah, yeah. Um, he's going to just pass them on speed because we know that number four outfit there is so old and actually we Yeah. Up to Ramsey. Yeah, round to Goldhouse, into Ramsey, down to Parliament Square. You can see now, look at that, and that's a, uh, he's outbreaking him as well, but you've got to be put off if your bike sink. He'll just be trying to nurse oh, the bike Mr. home. Gear as well. Yeah, that might help it. He'll be trying to nurse the thing home now, Will John Holden, I've got to say. This close to the end, just a mountain climb and a drop down. I don't know if he's going to bring it up. Can you imagine Mike Aylott there? He's clinging on. They're yeah. at the board. They know they're leading the race. Now then, where's Tim Reeves? This is uh, your leaders, Conrad Harrison. Mike Aylott comes down towards the north. This is where the new little piece of road goes up to your left. You'll see it there. Towards Governor's Dip now. They could almost push it on from here. I spoke to him at the start of this race and he said, uh, my stomach's churning and I'm nervous, but it's going to be celebrations very, very soon. Yeah, they'll be celebrating down in Bradford because uh, they've taken the first win, Steve. Conrad, six podiums in seven races, but never on the top step. How does that feel? I don't cry, me. I don't know what crying is. I'm a bit of a tough... Well, I'm only a weedy kid, but I'm a bit of a tough nut, you know what I mean? But, oh, you don't understand what it means to me. M money don't mean no. I'm not money, and it's not me. Tell you what it means to me. I've got loads of them little silver replicas, but well, tonight I'm going to get a big one. <laughs> <laughs> and why not too? Uh, were you aware of the race going on around you? Because obviously you lost the Birchalls and Dave as well. Do you know that was happening? I saw the Birchalls crash. I hope they're okay because they're lovely lads. They are polite lads. I've got a lot of respect for them. And with them, we'll. I think with, with, with Ben and Rick, uh, Tim coming here, I, I thought I'd never win to be honest, yeah. because they, they're just they're, they're younger and hungry, aren't they? But TT course is different. It's it's about knowledge, isn't it? If this were Donington Park, Tim Reeves and Ben Birchall would easy beat me. <laughs> I've got to admit it, but it's TT tracking it. Give him a big cheer, guys. Yeah!